Now that some of the victims have been named, family and friends can begin to grieve the loss of their loved ones. But others are still waiting anxiously for any word at all. They're growing frustrated with how Australian authorities are handling the situation. Mark Reddy reports. High school sweethearts in a world of love. But that world was torn apart on an adventure across the Tasman, far away from their coastal hometown. It's devastating. Uh, there, there is no other word for it. And this time of the year, it's a tragic, tragic event and we're saddened by it. No one has seen Rick Elza and Carla Matthews since a volcano erupted while they were on tour of White Island in New Zealand. Their friend Jason Griffiths survived, but with burns to 80% of his body, his condition is critical. It always comes with a bit of a shock to hear about locals. It's a bit close to home. The sadness also felt by neighbours of the Hollander family in Sydney. They're really nice uh, neighbours. They're just you know, normal family that you see, happy family always. Martin Hollander and his wife Barbara are among those Australians still missing. So are their two sons, Berend and his younger brother, Matthew. Both are students at Knox Grammar School. Their principal, Scott James, is remaining positive. Beren's engaging smile and quirky sense of humour has made him a good mate of his close group of friends and a welcome member to every classroom. Matthew has been popular among his peers and has always been enthusiastic about life. This is where Rick Elza and Carla Matthews left on their overseas cruise from Sydney to New Zealand last Wednesday. Rick Elza's father was too upset to speak on camera today, but says his family is now preparing for the worst and criticised Australian authorities for their handling of the situation. We would like to call for a change to the way DFAT corresponds with immediate family members in crises like these. To be reliant on media reports for information shows a real lack of consideration for the welfare of the families of the deceased. Authorities in New Zealand say their number one priority is to return to the island. An Australian defence aircraft is heading to New Zealand now to uplift the number of the injured Australians. There are 27 patients in burns units across New Zealand. We anticipate we will require an, an additional 1.2 million square centimetres of skin for the ongoing needs of the patients. For now, though, it's an anxious wait for the families still hoping for good news. Mark Reddy, ABC News.